Hi Dreamers, welcome back to Amori. This is episode 3. Uh, we are not where we finished, and you might be thinking, well, this actually looks like we've traversed a little bit back. Now, I, I did a little bit of mucking around, because as I kind of alluded to in the uh, the previous episode, it'd be nice to see what happens in some of these alternative, um, alternative layouts, right? So we're going to, I'm going to show you some stuff that I was mucking around with, and it turns out there's some stuff that we didn't see. So we're going to do that, and uh, it doesn't help, of course, that it's dark. Who has not been paying their lucky bills? Well, as we know, the, the mother has turned the electricity off. So we can get a good night's sleep. Some of these things are worth seeing, so you will bear with me the slight diversion, Dreamers. I'm sure you'll appreciate it, trust me. Um, I watched this without recording it, and I was a bit... Um, I was, it was all very curious, so... I certainly want to share it with you guys. I'm not going to muck around, though. Yeah, yeah. Down the stairs, you. Sunny Jim. Sounds like you can just hold down. If you, it's, it was me stopping and trying to piss about that was causing it to keep saying that he's hungry. Turns out you can avoid hunger with a bit of dedication and going down the stairs. Good. Yeah, it's scary. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, Louis Jimmy, Sonny Jim, get that. There we go, good. So, of course, we saw this. Chasing by the hand. Doesn't seem like you can do anything different here. This all seems to be relatively scripted. Ouch. Now one thing you might be wondering is perhaps perhaps there's a different outcome to this fight. Maybe you can actually defeat this spooky monster. Well our attacks do nothing, so it's not very encouraging, is it? Now it gets to a point where the the enemy doesn't seem to do anything when it attacks. Uh, so at this point you use the skill to calm down. However, we're not going to do that. We're going to get shoved a bit. Ouch. So that takes us definitely to the definite danger zone. So, I'm curious what's going to happen here. So we have an opportunity to try and use our calm down skill, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go down swinging. And it rather unceremoniously gives us a game over. Uh, do we want to retry? Absolutely we do. Yes. Good. So I guess that's what happens when you uh, you die in Omori. In case you were curious, we haven't managed to do it yet through our own incompetence. But uh, yeah, that's what happens apparently when you die. At least, in, At least in this part of the game. I mean, who knows what happens if you were to die to those plants at the beginning. Maybe we'll need to try that, Dreamers, and see what happens. Or to, uh... It didn't look like you could die to boss. I think that was a scripted fight, since Amori couldn't die, right? So, if we get this out of the way... Get this monster out of the road... Yeah, it... I don't know, I, it, maybe it is a little bit scary. I'm a little bit spooked. Turns out deep breath that solves everything. Good. There we go. There's a stake in that bridge and it's got my name on it. It's fine, we're gonna just blitz through here. One knife, please. Yep, go on then, cold stake, yes please. Okay, yep, go on then. Uh, 
immediately after playing through this bit, I I got extremely hungry and I had to have my own dinner. But it wasn't a steak. Um, although it did leave me feeling a bit queasy, so thanks for that, Amori. I don't quite understand this picture, but then again, there's probably plenty in this game for me to not understand. Good. They do get a lot of mileage out of that sound effect, don't they? Yeah. Good. Uh, up here. Up here, quickly. Fears dissipate when you've got a bit of iffy steak in your belly. Good. All looking relatively cheery. Now, it's at this point you start hearing the knocking. Now, if you choose to, you don't even need to deal with that. It seems that you could just go into the bed. However, we're not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go and see what's going on. Yeah, I'm coming. What's up? Hey there, Mary. Hmm, okay. So, before we chose not to um, allow Mary in, feeling a bit more charitable tonight. Let's open the door. Okay, so apparently that's what was at the door there. Now, nothing else seems to have really changed down here. But did you hear that, dreamers? It wasn't the sound of the first aid kit. Um, has anything else changed? Everything looks all right. Nothing out of the ordinary in here. No, I don't want to save there, thanks. Maybe something in the bathroom? Hmm. Oh. Hi. Let's not look at that too long. Now, something else interesting happened, and I haven't been able to spot it reliably. You notice that isn't there anymore. On the door, on the left, I swear I've seen that picture that's in um, the uh, the sketchbook. You know, the thing that um, we saw uh, in Basil's house. I haven't been able to make it appear again. I, I don't know if it was my imagination. Lord knows when I actually triggered this, I was like, oh dear, this is uh, taking a turn for the RPG Maker horror. Um, but nothing else is different from this point on. It just goes on, as you would expect. Now, what I don't know, of course, dreamers, is if this sequence of events having been done this way has some impact on the game later on. Of course, if you've played, uh, I was going to say Endroll there, if you've played Amori and you know the answers to that, please do let me know. It'd be very interesting to know that. And I'm sure anyone watching would also know. I'd uh, like to know if that does indeed make any difference. Um, but for sake of continuity, now that we've had that little diversion, um, we are going to just load our save game again. Lord knows uh, we don't need to go replay and load stuff again, right? Vast forest. This much touted vast forest that we have to go look at. We'll find Basil, everyone. You remember? You remember Basil, don't you? Probably we couldn't get rid of him. And now, he seems to have gone. What a shame. That's fine. We're a, a, a spriteful troop. We can probably figure it out. The Great Basil Mystery. I mean, we already saved them once. Um, hmm, okay. What about this way? A transportation station. Okay. 
Transportation station. I'm just going to quickly uh, do this. Hang on. Vast forest. Okay. I've been mucking around a lot with my microphone, which is definitely what you want to do before you start doing significant recordings. Mucking about with your microphone. I'm good at that. Right before a stream, right before something important. Muck about with the microphone so that it sounds like arse. It's nice around here. There's a bird. Here we go. Basil! Basil, where are you? Well, it'd be convenient if he was right here at the portal into this area, right? I know, says Kel. Hmm. Go on then, Kel. Ask your pet rock what to do. Hector, be a good boy and find Basil. Okay. We go, Hector. Hmm. Hector. Come on, Hector. Oh, well. Nice try. Good work, Kel. Oh. This is no time to fool around, Kel. That's not very nice. Oh, they're, they're going to get into a fight, are they? Yeah, focus, right. This is no time for pet rock bashing. What's this? Mr. Parrot. Okay. Foggy Bridge? Okay. I hear you. Uh-oh. It's like the... It's like the... Uh, RPG Maker games of, of yore. We've got a... I guess we, we probably should fight, right? Two of the beasts? I don't think we've ever fought two enemies at once. Uh, okay. Uh, let's... Um, Let's do this. It's a shame that all of these attacks only sort of go one on one, right? Go, you, um, you be happy yourself. Why not? We're doing, of course, the tried and tested RPG Maker uh, fighting strategy of distributing our attacks so that it takes longer and the enemies can do more damage to us. Yeah. That's a lot of damage, damn. We can't have that, can we? We've already had one game over. Beat him up. Ow. Gosh, these guys aren't fucking around, are they? Aubrey feels angry. Oh, good. We've angered Aubrey. So I guess you don't want to use those um, call options necessarily. Um, oh, wow. Kel, Kel died. I didn't even spot that. Oops. Good. Well done. We managed to um, lose Kel on a fight. Well done. Um, maybe we can... Uh, we've got like a cook option, right? Let's cook some toast. I can't believe we lost somebody already. Uh, let's do that. Ten. Use that on Kel. There we go. Good as new. Delicious. Right, okay, good. The first, the first fight that we got into outside of, I guess, the first um, part of the game. And we already nearly died. Fantastic. What's this? Apple juice. Excellent. So I wonder if this is going to be like the branching point where the game becomes more of an RPG uh, experience. Genuinely, I don't know. Jax. Basement Jax. Alice? Looks spooky. Just a tire swing. Yeah. Yeah, that is indeed what that is. Seems spooky, though. Very spooky. Oh, look at that. These cheeky monkeys are back again. We may need to go to a shop and, like, buy items. 
Who would have thought actually having to play it like a blooming RPG? There's me thinking I could just wing my way through this. Get away! I'm going over here. I'm going to go play with this. Dandelion. What do these things do? Let's have a look. Uh, is it a snack? Yeah. Is it a toy? Okay. I see. I see. It's all very interesting. Yeah, I see you there. It's fine. I can run faster than you. Look at this. I keep forgetting I can do this. Oh, look, there's red dots again. Interesting. Huh. We probably do need to fight them. I guess. We'll fight this guy, right? Go on then. Oh, he's uh, angry, I guess. Um. Yeah. No, I think he's already angry. I don't think we need to do that. Let's do that. Seems to me like you're not going to have a, a huge amount of um, mana. Christ almighty. <laughs> Aubrey's dead now. Okay. Oops. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, it doesn't matter. Dead anyway. Good. Um, right. People are dying left, right and centre. I wonder if that perhaps suggests that I am making a bit of a, a pig of this. Let's have a look at snacks. Heals five heart. Five hearts, not very many. It's not very many either. I reckon what we should do is we should get Hero to use Cook on Aubrey. And then what we can do is no, we can give the juice to Hero. Here you go, drink up. There you go. Good. Getting by on the skin of her teeth, as they would say. B! Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil is in this forest. Yeah, we haven't even searched the whole forest yet. Cheer up, Aubrey. Uh, maybe she might have married at the playground. Yeah. Let's get the B. B. He could be in this forest still. Okay. This is very unique, isn't it? All these lanterns. Well, I'm hugely enthusiastic about. Oh my god. Oh, why did nobody tell me there was docks like this? No. Um. I've had a bit of a bad time with docks like this, and uh, certainly in Yumi fan games, particularly in uh, the old Tuki. The old Yumi Tuki, we've long been adverse to this sort of thing. I had a particularly traumatic experience of running around in a dock, very much like this, for what felt like my whole life. Gosh, good thing you can run, isn't it? This would take ages. Oh, look, a tentacle. Oh, we, we can't. Oh, we can! Look at that. We just need to apparently cut it. Okay. Yeah, no. Not right now, anyway. Potential for getting extremely lost. Quite high. Oh, a train station. Oh, yeah. Bird. Plane starts here. Are these people are waiting for the train. Oh, no. These guys are waiting for... Lemonade? Howdy. A well-tempered jash. Line cutters. Okay, sorry. I see. La la la. Okay. Can we wait in the queue? Got to get everybody lined up properly though. There we go. Right. 
Maybe maybe we gotta do this. Okay, I don't have the patience for that. What's this? Yeah, go on then, Leafy. Bunnies. Yeah, I know. Fucking bunnies, right? Bunnies. Bad. One wish in the world. There's a straw. The world's bunnies. Okay. Uh, I haven't, actually. We managed to avoid fighting any bunnies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you? Go on then, Leafy. Hit me with a deal. Five bunnies. Okay. Destroy bunnies. That sounds like a, a legitimate life work, life ambition. Let's let's get this. Popcorn. I see another one up there. I want it. How do we get there? Looks like we need to get past this uh, concoction here, but that may not be possible. Um. Okay. Isn't the air here nice? You can smell the clean. I don't like the implications of that. The stationary musician, okay. Great. Um, five clams doesn't sound like many. Here you go. Go on then. Um, okay, that's enough. Pretty good. Good. I'm not really sure that I, I would agree necessarily with that assessment of the song. Blookie, there's Blookie. Blookie. Okay. Well, that was good fun. So, what do we need to do? We need to kill five bunnies. Uh, good. No. I've got to get the items first. Life jam. Cherry soda. Chocolate. Delicious. Wow. Oh, shit. There's a blue one over there. Go on, then you want to fight? Let's go. Oh dear, this one's upside down. This is where we're gonna die. I feel like we're woefully um, unprepared for any kind of action, really, but maybe it'll be okay. Um. I don't really know if I do want to do that, actually. Uh, hmm. I mean, part of me is just tempted to say, let's fight it. But you know what? When in Amori. Oh, jeez. Take that, bunny. Forest bunny? Right in the heart, good. I hope we've done a lot of damage to it. Oh, we get, we have good, right, fine. Okay, I'm not so worried now. No, 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 no. I don't like how it defaults to the last thing that you used. Wow, can you fuck off? There you go. Six clams, excellent. And a candy. We're already making good. We can go get another song. Banana smoothie? What's this? A three-leaf clover? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Life jam. Revives a friend that is toast. Okay. Seemingly we haven't had to worry about that. I guess maybe that's something you use in battle. Um, what health item have we got? Uh, uh-huh. 40% of heart, okay. 30 hearts, a lot. 
Whereas five heart is kind of pathetic, really. Um, we will not immediately do that. And before a big fight, suddenly. So that's one bunny. Yeah, I see you in there. Good. Tofu. What seems to be the worst item ever. I'm not even in the game. Let's look at this. I want to just remind myself about this because I've Lord knows I've looked at this enough times and I still haven't quite completely got my hand on it. So, happy, strong against angry. So if you make the enemy angry, you don't really want to do that. You want to make the enemy sad and then you want to make yourself angry. No, you don't. Maybe you do. Or maybe you want to make the enemy happy and then make yourself sad. Sad is stronger than happy. That's the important thing to remember there. Maybe we'll try that in the next fight. Cut. Use the HM cut. Ooh, I want the blue one. Come here, blue one. Nice. Bracelet? Okay. What does that do? Bracelet, you say? Well, where would a bracelet go? Oh, we got a charm slot. Hang on. Ah, uh, look. Here we go. Uh, yeah, why not? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Uh, why don't you have the bracelet? Nice. Okay. Well, everyone's a bit beaten up, but we've only killed one bunny of... Uh... Five. What's this? Train station. Foggy bridge. Okay. Would you call me? Uh, let's. Before we do that, let's let's heal Aubrey up because Aubrey seems liable to um to buy it. Uh, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. Sustainable. It's good for the environment. You know. It's good for the environment. We're not being consumerist. Hi. Oh shit, it's two of them. One of them's angry and one of them's happy. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do, dreamers. We're gonna do sad poem on Aubrey. And we're gonna attack that with Aubrey. We're gonna hope that that happens in the right order. And we're gonna attack that one. And we're gonna We're not going to do that, actually. We're just going to attack it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see how it is. Ouch. 31. Good. 44 is a big number. Holy shit. Does that mean we're doing it right? I, I, kind of hard to tell. Uh, right, okay, good. Um, I suppose we should just go in for the kill. Uh, no, I don't want to make anybody happy. Hmm. He's already angry. Go team! Ow. Come on then. Excellent. Two more bunnies down. Well done, team. Hey, level four for Mori. Everyone else is getting there. Good. Okay. We still seem to get our asses kicked. I know I'm going to look at it again. Um, I'm just... No, not full facts, this. This is going to take me probably at least like four or five hours of gameplay to even try and figure out. Um, so I'm going to look at it again. It's so beautiful, I might get it printed out and put it on the wall. Yeah, there we go. 
See, if it was clever, actually, what we'd do is I'd take a screenshot of it and then I could, like, have it next to me. I'd look at it. Read it when I'm in bed. Absorb it a little bit. Uh, right, angry. Angry to sad, sad to happy, happy to angry. Okay. Yeah. How are we doing for health? Uh, I don't want to fight you. You're not important. This is important, though. There we go. Because he's, he's sad. Which means... Um, strong against happy, but weak to... Angry? Okay. Uh, don't want him to be sad. We're going to attack him. We are running low on the old manners. We're gonna make uh, hero angry. Yes. Hero doesn't look all that angry. Oh no, Aubrey feels angry. Okay, good. I think that's all working in our favour. So let's just um, let's just attack. Okay, keep fighting, and it's dead. Good. Part was victorious. Fantastic. Level up for everybody. Oh no, just hero. Why just hero? I don't know. So many bunnies is that? Four? I think that's four bunnies. Four bunnies. Four bunnies. I see it up there. No. 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 Get out of here. Oh, what's this? It's a strong sad memorial. Oh, no, it's not. It's the wise rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clams. What kind of advice would you like me to give? Um... Well, wow, we've got a lot of clams. I think, give us some good advice, please. Why not? Understood. Here's your advice. If opportunity does not knock, you can always build a door. I hope this helps. That's really, really useful. Thank you, Wise Rock. I feel that was an excellent investment of our hard-earned money. All right, so we need to kill one bunny. Hard-earned money. Kill one bunny. How are we doing for health? Ah, oh, we're good. Yeah, come on then. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, right, angry. Is uh, weak to happy, right? Okay. I'm worried about the plant thing more than the bunny. Um, also, we, we're running out of the manners. Uh, oh, and we can't even use the the thingy. Can we? Yeah, let's do that. Swiping. I hope we're not about to die. Uh oh. Uh, it could happen. Right, okay, good. Right, nice. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Stab. Yes. Ouch. That look at heart. Fighting. No. No. Okay, good. Hooray! Fantastic. We found Tofu and Aubrey grew to level 4. Fantastic. Kale's dead again. Uh, let's, uh... God. Let's do this. Right. 
This is why they're all going to be leveling up at different rates, because, um... Because I keep letting them die, that's why. But I think we've killed all the bunnies now, so let's go and see what, uh... What prize there is for such an activity. Hi. Hi there. I've killed six bunnies, have I? Okay. That's six bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You got a cotton ball. Go and destroy more bunnies. Well, we'll see. Uh-huh. 19 more bunnies. Oh, jeez. What, what, what did you give me? A cotton ball. Is that a... Uh, is that a thing we can equip? Here you go, Kel. Why don't you put one of these on your... Oh, you got, you got your pet rock. That's right. Do you want a cotton ball? A splendid ball of cotton. Okay. Let's... Let's do that. Right. Okay. Is there, is there a way we could, like... Take a quick breather? Or are we going to have to... Kind of go back on track here? Um... We seem to be a bit beaten up. Maybe we can just blitz our way around for a little while. Avoid the fighting. Like a ninja. Uh, yeah, okay. Fighting. Speedrunning strategies. Okay. Also, it's like a big circle. Okay. Bigcircles.com. Uh, right. I'm conscious we didn't even follow the, uh, the thing before. All right, okay. Never mind. We're getting sucked in by Mary's uh, gravity. Have you found Basil yet? Uh, no. I wish there was a way I could help more. You could get off your arse rather than minding this fucking picnic basket. What do you think? Well, here it looks really uh, coy there. Uh, maybe start looking outside this forest. Go on then, Kel. The ladder? Okay. Amori is afraid of heights. Yeah. Maybe he just arbitrarily decided to go up a ladder. Mori, you're going stronger every day. Yeah, I can handle that. So Mary's our, our big sister, is that the idea? I can handle a ladder. Measly little ladder. Well, I don't know. Some bad things have happened on... Well, not so much ladders, but stairs. Um, yeah, I could do it, yeah. Thanks for your concern, though, Aubrey. I appreciate it greatly. Woohoo! Ladder! I'm stronger than I think. Okay. Give me some. Okay, good. We got to say. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Something wrong with Barely? Oh, yeah, okay. Show me. What's happened? Have you got a knife? Let me explain. Look at this pole. Can you believe it? The ball's gone. Yeah, see, I, I, I could spot that. Fucking super sleuths here. I didn't even spot that there was no balls. Um, Van uses arm just won't get too hard. Okay. Never to be seen again. Yep. You gotta use your head. That wasn't very nice, was it? Okay. Somewhere in that direction. Into the vast forest. Oh, good. I probably should have picked this up before we ran around in there for ages. Oh, okay. I don't know why you guys are so helpful. Uh, hopeful. You couldn't even find Basil. Never mind a ball. Yeah. Gaping mouth. Sounds kinky. Nice. Why don't your friends go with Barely and keep her out of trouble? I'd go myself, but... 
Aha. Okay. Okay, I understand. Ball, you're coming with me? Do you want to come up a ladder? What do you think about that? Well, okay, Basil. I mean, you might be missing, but you know, there's also there's a ball that needs finding. No. What? What are you talking about? I'm going to the forest. Calm your fucking jets. Nah, I don't want to fight that. Ball. 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 Okay, ball. Balls. No, okay, right. It's probably not over there, right? Not nah, about you. Oh, fine. Oh well. Okay, fine. We can handle it. Uh, right. Let's let's use um the sad poem on hero. And the pep talk on Kel. Okay, good. Kel can attack that. Hero can attack that. Right. Probably got that all the wrong way around. Oh. You probably ought to charge that up rather than just use it. Whenever you can. Oh, I'm already sad. Oh. That's fine. I'm still learning. I'm a, I'm a newbie. Uh, right, you're you're sad, so... Yeah, attack that. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, Kel is happy, so attack that, and you attack that. Right. Six damage is a smaller number than the kind of numbers we're seeing earlier on, which is a relief. Smashing. Just go for the face, man. Smash that bunny. Dead? No? There we go. Good. Rebound. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, ball. Back to business. The business of balls. Maybe the ball's in here. Ball? Oh. In the spooky room. No. Come on. If we do every single fight, we're never going to get out of this area. Because this might be where we find out that this game requires a shit ton of grinding. And thus, uh... Okay. Well, you seem to know roughly where it is. Maybe you could dispel some of that information onto the, the party here. Rather than just have us amble about randomly until we happen across a ball. Look at that big boner! Big bone. Okay, in here? Uh oh. Big bone. Small bone. Shelter. I heard a barking. That's nourishment. Okay. When we came in here. No balls though. Plenty of big bones, but no balls. I see. That's interesting. Oh, come on. The fact they respawn as well. Oh. Alright then. Alright then. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna charge up a bit. We're gonna use our ultra. And by that I meant I'm gonna press it arbitrarily. Good. Main damage isn't a lot of damage. Ow. Let's do it. To the face with you. I'm very much reminded of middens and it's um was things that you would summon. What were they called? Uh, yeah, the different um, little party members that you would summon and then you would do stuff. Uh, find in the ball. Find in the ball. No. Ball? Balls. Hmm. I can see that this game seems to require at least an element of patience. It's not like rushing between things. It's no space funeral. You probably complete the whole space funeral in like an hour and a half, or probably even not shorter than that, but that's not a ball. No, just you stay there. What was in here again? Oh, this fucking waste of money. Waste of money. Hmm. Ball in the vast... Of all the places to lose your ball, in the fucking vast forest. Okay, right, yeah, no, no, no. sorry. Ah, uh, what have we got ourselves into, man? I think we might have to fight that. Look at where he's positioned. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, come on. Ha! Ha! Ha ha ha! Ball! There it is! Lost ball! Everybody! Yoink! Finally! Okay, itch into place and tether ball. Maybe we should check out this cavern escape first. Uh oh. Hi! A hard bulb. Something struggling inside. Well, that doesn't sound promising. God knows it's going to erupt out of there. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay! Um... Let's just... Let's just attack. I think that's a good idea. What does rebound do? Deals damage to all foes. Okay, that sounds useful. Understood. You cheeky fuck. Easy. Easy. I wonder if this is the kind of game where you can race ahead of where you're supposed to be for a, like your level. Actually, we're being stupid. We want to go this way. We know that already. We know that already, dreamers, because we know that it loops around. You remember, don't you? You're not an idiot. Loops around, everyone. Loops around. Go up here. Loops around. D d. Yep, that was fun. Not. Okay. Sorry. Come see me before you go. I got something special. Yeah, hey, yeah, give us. Good. Give us your special. Look at them go. Hi. Thanks for getting my lost ball back. Yeah. She sure is. Since you're all so kind, help me out. I'm gonna be generous and teach you my special skill. 
question. Okay, which of you has the hardest head? Uh, Aubrey. Oh, well. Kill. Chill out. Get it. Get the hint. Heh. Okay. Aubrey, you're up. Headbutt. Oh dear. That looks easy. You can do that, right, Aubrey? Go on, Aubrey. Come on, Aubrey, you can do it. We can teach you the basil. Not with that flowery concoction on, on his head. Um, there you go. Hero is living proof of that. Go on, then. Go on, Aubrey. Ouch. Ugh. Nice one, Aubrey. Nice. Is headbutt a talent? I hereby declare you a bona fide headbutter. Ugh. Headbutt, fantastic. Well done, Aubrey. A butt certificate. <laughs> Dear. Well done, everyone. What does that look like exactly? Deals big damage, but Aubrey also takes damage. Stronger when Aubrey is angry. Okay. Good. Um, I think there's a puzzle that we were supposed to find, wasn't there? Yeah, we're fine. Knows to tell me about a cute little leaf she met, but when she tried to be its friends, all what's up was how she hit the bunny. Yeah, I know, I was killing them. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, eh? Uh, good, okay, well, we, <laughs> we seem to have achieved um, not a lot. We didn't find Basil. We did find a ball. Um, and we headbutted something. Um, that seems like as good a cause as any. To save our game. Don't you think, Dreamers? We feel like new. Fantastic. Well, um, we got diverted a little bit at the start, but hopefully you've enjoyed yourself on this wonderful adventure through Amori, episode 3. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been a pleasure for, it's been a pleasure recording for you all this evening. Hopefully I will see you on the next one.